Hey out there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. If you're new, what's up? I hope you're having a beautiful day or space and time. And if you're returning, you know I'm happy to have you back. We are about to start packing for Aruba, which I am like so ready for. Like I'm, the sun is finally out here in New York, but still like New York sun and New York summer, New York city is not giving right now like i need the beach i need the sun i need the air i need to be out in nature i need to get out of the concrete jungle like i just need like a good mental break from the city and like california was great but still it was like really gloomy and rainy whenever we were there and everyone was telling us like oh i don't know what's going on like it's never like this it's always usually spring and warm and you know we can go to the beach and it was like literally we brought new york weather with us to california so i am ready to be out and my bikini on the beach. I've been working out. Summer body is popping. Thank you, Tammy Hembro and Pamela Reef. Also, like the fits. Like I'm so ready to not be wearing my hoodies and my sweatpants and my leggings and like my beanies and my scarves and all of the winter shit. Like I'm ready for my ethereal outfits to make a comeback. Like it is it is boho summer. It is hippie summer today. I have been just getting the house in order, getting everything ready. I hit the store over the last couple of days to pick up like travel size things, some makeup restock, nails done, all that kind of stuff. We'll actually be stopping in Texas first to see my parents, my family, get to drop off the little Mr. Tito bagel and he's gonna stay with them while we're in Aruba. So he's gonna be taken care of, which I feel very happy about. I know he's gonna enjoy being home with grandma and grandpa. And also he's gonna get to hang out with their new dog too, cause he's not gotten to meet her since she's been brought into the family and see his older sister. So happiness all the way around. It's gonna be so fun. I'm just really, really excited. We're about to start packing. As you can see, my good old handy dandy packing list. And I did this super cute little color scheme on Canva and like it is just giving like the tropical summer vibes, it matches my nails. I'm like how cute are these? Like I'm loving them. So I usually determine my outfits that I'll be wearing before I actually pack everything together. This helps me like decide what I'm gonna wear and I don't have that like panicky freak out moment. And then also I don't overpack too whenever I'm on these trips because usually I'm trying to be like economical with my suitcase, all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to be insane and I hate taking things on vacation and not even actually using them. So with that in mind, I have like a list of the amount of outfits that I need. I think we'll be getting the itinerary coming up soon. I'm really excited to see, like, we're gonna need some resort wear vibes, some dinner vibes, definitely beach looks, um, a couple of like outdoor excursion outfits. I'll make sure I have like some hiking boots or some comfortable walking shoes, toiletries, electronics, content, everything like that. I just got a new travel tripod. Johnny just got a camera. We are just fully in the content moment. I'm gonna pull out my suitcase. I'm gonna start pulling out outfits. So the outfits that I decide to take um, for the ease of like getting dressed whenever I'm busy or don't have the time, I will get dressed here, put the outfit together with all the different accessories, style it however I want it to look, take a picture, pack it. And then whenever I'm on the trip, I will refer back to that like little photo album of like, these are the outfits I have. This is the looks available like the range of options that I packed and I will pick from that get dressed and it's just like much less stress and anxiety and it's fun too because it's kind of like that whole revolving like closet moment kind of like in my clueless closet video I still use the wearing app but also this is just easy with like having quick access to the pre-planned outfits. I hope this video is helpful or inspirational if anyone else is doing any traveling or vacationing coming up and if you are looking for any packing tips Hopefully this is helpful. If not, um, I hope you enjoy the upcoming Aruba content. Definitely stay tuned for Aruba outfits because I will be doing Aruba outfits the way that I did Greece outfits. So thanks so much and I hope you enjoy. So right now I'm just going through my closet and all of my drawers and pulling out any of the clothing items or accessories that I know I've been thinking about wearing or putting together. Here I've just got everything getting ready to be folded or mapped out. I got some really cute little boho like sandals for the summer season as well as for the beach and I have these super cute clear wedges from Depop last year. I've got my cover-ups, my shorts, some dresses, and 
beachwear and now I'm just gonna open up my suitcase and give that a clean too because it's a little bit sandy from our California trip and I just don't want to take some sand with me to another place where there's probably gonna be more sand in my suitcase so yeah I'm just gonna vacuum it out really quick here I'm watching Queen Charlotte and drinking a glass of rosé while making sure everything is actually going to fit in my suitcase Tito is definitely aware that something is happening. He hates when suitcases come out because he knows that something is about to change. Okay, so I've got all the different outfit pieces, accessories, shoes, and items that I think that I want. So now I'm just going to figure out exactly which outfits are going to go together and take all of my pictures. Okay, so I've just gotten all of my pictures taken and uploaded to my little like outfit photo album so I can legitimately pack everything. I've got my packing cubes and the way that I like to pack most things is if something has like some really interesting fabric or it's more of like an awkward shape or material, usually I'll put it in the zipper compartment of my suitcase. See, and now here he is watching me because he's like, oh, you're taking me with you. I and mean, I'm just getting like my shoes and like my other awkward items that I put in my packing cubes and like my accessories um, put into the like open side with the little like buckly, you know, piece. I don't know. The other side that without the zipper. And yeah, if you thought we were done, you're wrong because I still had too much stuff. And so I used my little travel hack to turn my travel pillow into like extra clothing storage. That way I could put other things back into the suitcase. So yeah, that's just like one of the things I've always done and I definitely recommend it. Get a travel pillow, take out the pillow insert, put all of your soft clothing inside of it. No one's going to say anything and you still have a pillow for the plane. 10 out of 10 recommend. So now I'm just getting all of my final pieces and my carry-on bag together, all of my electronics, my camera, my purses. I'm getting some of my like backup emergency accessories and hair accessories and putting together my jewelry really fast. So that way I've just got all of my little important essentials with me. And then I was finally legitimately done. I just put the rest of my last minute stuff together, got dressed, and went to the airport. My flight was at 11 p.m. and I arrived around 2 a.m. Literally on the way home from the airport, we pass one of the stores in our neighborhood and see that their dumpster is on fire. Okay, is it behind the location or? Um, it's kind of to the are. side of their parking lot. Okay, we'll get the fire department out there. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. And get this, as soon as we hung up and whipped out of the parking lot, they pulled us over for suspicious activity. And as soon as we showed them the call log, they were like, oh, okay, thanks for making the call and let us go. But still, I was just like, I just want to go home and go to bed. So once we finally made it home from the chaos, we got the puppies fed. Tito and Jovi were getting along great. They were already thick as thieves and just playing much to Serena's annoyance. She just wants to be held and be given love and affection and all the belly rubs while they just want to run around and play. I think it was like 4 a.m. by the time we finally went to bed and the next day we got up to enjoy our Mother's Day together. We had a really fun lunch with my parents and my grandmother and some of our cousins. And I was enjoying my Kate Spade and my nails. And then the next day my mom and my sister did an awesome job braiding my hair to get me ready for the trip and then it was time to actually go to Aruba. I had another early morning flight and a layover in Miami for a little bit. From there I got to Aruba and was able to go meet up with Johnny at the resort. Definitely stay tuned for part two. I'm super excited for all of the Aruba footage and collaboration and just experience to come out. It was incredible. I would love to go back. I definitely recommend it for anyone looking for a beautiful island to travel to. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a beautiful day or night or space and time out there. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe and stick around if you're down. And I hope to see you soon. Live life like art, beautiful people.